everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Taurus's private eye reading for the month of June 2021. In this message, we're first going to tap into the energies here with the Romance Angel deck and get a you versus them spread to see what's challenging the situation. <laughs> then we are going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy, Taurus. And in this message, we are going to look into their true intentions, how they're feeling about this challenge at this time, how they're feeling about you. What will their next steps be moving forward and any advice, guidance from spirit? I'll clarify throughout as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Taurus, what we can see for you guys for June 2021. Please and thank you. Most important message here, spirit, for Taurus. What does Taurus need to see for the month of June? romantic feelings worth waiting for healing family issues one more card here for your person, Taurus. I feel like you're withholding your energy at this time. Now, I feel here that you are probably dealing with something within your family, okay, within a family dynamic. There's definitely a disconnect. Now, even if you and this person are living in the same household, there probably is a disconnect, but the energy that I'm feeling here is more of like a a separation or almost feeling like a separation except for i feel here that there has this hasn't been spoken on okay however i will say that there is an energy of both of you are healing some parts and that could be why you're not reaching out to each other as much okay i also feel here taurus that there is definitely emotions involved there's some deep feelings that you may have to work through if you decide to release so let's dive a little bit deeper into the message here see if we can see what's challenging this for you taurus please keep in mind guys the messages here on youtube are general they're not going to resonate every time with every person really about the title if there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message for you for information on energy cleanse kits personal readings how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free personal readings it's all linked below in the description box and taurus if you like the vibe or how i interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Queen of Cups in the reverse with the world. I feel here there's going to be some truth that's going to be revealed that's going to give you a peek into where this person is coming from. Right now you're being called to stand your ground. Focus on self-care, self-love, self-healing. I feel here your person wants things a particular way. Now, this can resonate either way. I feel like your person is wanting things a particular way. And because things aren't going the way that they had wanted them to, they may be withholding. Now, this could be you, okay? But I feel here um, there is a need to be more open-minded in this situation, okay? And it's funny, I just looked over to the romance angels on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Keep an open mind. I do feel like there is an energy of this could work. 
but you guys have to work together. And you guys are going to have to get on the same page if you want things to work out properly. Okay, if you want things to work out. Right now I feel an energy of at odds. Okay. And this energy needs to be released. Five of swords in the reverse. But I, it is in the process of being released, but I still feel this energy coming through here. So let's clarify. For a lot of you, this is going to most likely um, come to some sort of separation in the moment, in the present moment, okay? As things are right now, okay? If things stay at odds, if things stay conflicted. Okay, now there may be a chance to turn this around. We're gonna dive a little bit deeper. We're gonna clarify. We're gonna start with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. The world energy. If you found this message has been helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. Clarifying the Queen of Cups in the reverse, the world energy. I feel like if there is still this withholding of emotions, holding back between you, eventually there is going to be one, the other, or both. It's going to step away from this. Tower, Emperor, and Rivers. There is definitely a possibility of an ending here. I do feel like there is also a possibility to turn things around, but there is going to need to be some communication, some opening up, keeping an open mind to how this plays out. Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups energy here for you, Taurus. This is your energy. I do feel like there is a lot of love coming from your energy towards this person. There is definitely a deep connection, okay? Um, but I also feel an energy of disconnected. For some of you, there could be, maybe your person is stepping out or this could be you, Taurus, cause, because the three of cups in the reverse is coming out with your energy. For a lot of you, um, it's just draining. It's just draining. I'm here. I heard that. That just popped in my head instantly. It's just draining. This person may drain you emotionally. Maybe they expect a lot of things from you. This person and you at one point wanted a higher level of commitment with each other. I do definitely feel like there is an energy of at, being at odds. What I feel here, Taurus, is your person may be the one that chooses to walk away, judgment the world. They are only going to wait for so long, Taurus. That's what I can see here. It's coming out from this person's energy. What this reading is saying. Okay. I do feel like there is this holding back or not speaking full truths, not saying what someone wants to say, that's going to cause a lot of resentment moving forward if that's the energy that's kept. So if this is you, Taurus, then there maybe is a need here to open up about how you're feeling in a particular situation, about a particular friend. It's the first thing I think that I can think of. Maybe you have a friend of this of your partner's that you think is too close, okay? There's something that is causing you to be cautious about this person. You need to express that. Okay, maybe this is about finances. You need to express that. Whatever it is that you're holding back saying, I feel here you need to say. Okay? Be mindful, Taurus. Be mindful of this person's energy. Okay? Be mindful that there could potentially be a disconnect between this connection. And there is a need with the Queen of Pentacles to kind of take some time to focus on self. Um, to make sure that you're taken care of, that you're stable, you're solid, you're connected to Source. 
Okay, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. There is a potential here for this to work out, okay? But I feel here there, there, the break is going to come because there's an imbalance. You're going to have to balance things out, okay? There may need a change in perspective. It's coming forward. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse with the Hanged Man. I will say that if there is a disconnect between you and this person, Taurus, that it will be divinely guided. So trusting the process, no matter how difficult that may be, is going to be the key here. Okay, let's dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy here, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. We're first going to look into your person's true intentions here moving forward for the month of June 2021. Please and thank you. This Taurus's person's true intentions here moving forward. Month of June. I feel like this person is trying to focus on their own stability and they're having a difficult time doing so okay we have the king of pentacles in the reverse we have the four of cups and we have the two of swords okay this person is very closed off i feel like they're very withdrawn I feel like they have a lot going on. And again, that healing energy, that healing vibe is coming out. Maybe healing family issues is important to them. That could be why they're taking a step back here, Taurus. Now, they may come forward with this information, okay? You may have to pry it out of them. For most of you, I feel like this person is going to be forthright with the fact that they're maybe dealing with some family issues. Maybe this is with a mother, a sister, a brother, you know, sibling dynamic, the energy that I'm feeling, okay? How do they feel about this conflict with Taurus? I feel here, Taurus, that they are looking at this conflict as maybe it's too much with you okay the reason why they're going to take a step back is to focus on family i really do feel like they're contemplating a disconnect if the disconnect it happens it will be your person that initiates it and i feel like this is mainly going to have to do with healing a family dynamic okay healing a family situation working on selves maybe they're working on a project a business venture i honestly feel here this person is mostly focused on not being stressed taurus okay so how are they feeling about you at this time i feel like this person feels bound eight of swords star seven of cups this person feels bound to this connection but i feel like this person also feels that there needs heal there needs to be a sense of healing between the two of you and i feel like they're not getting that need met at this time which is causing the confusion they may also see you as maybe having a lot of options or maybe this is you cancer maybe uh, cancer you could be dealing with a cancer taurus Okay, I feel like your person is seeing you as maybe you're the one that's confused um, or bringing up this confusive energy, confused energy here. Okay, so let's take a look at what their next steps are going to be moving forward. For can Taurus, I keep wanting to say Cancer. What I see here, Taurus, is there is going to be a disconnect, okay? But this disconnect is going to cause um, 
a change a change in this dynamic okay I feel here also um, this person is going to feel very regretful once they walk away so they're going to walk away a couple months down the road they're going to want to turn back around and reconcile okay you need to make sure that it's not going to get that pattern isn't going to continue so whatever reason they were disconnecting in the first place that problem needs to be resolved and for a lot of you it's going to have to do with healing okay and maybe this is healing themselves but definitely more so feeling as if there's something going on within their family that they're not telling you about so taurus feel like you and this person are going to come back together in the future there's several indicators here that this is a deep connection for a lot of you this is going to be a connection that is ascending to a higher level in a roundabout way sometimes in these connections there is a disconnect that needs to happen it's almost as if you don't know what you got till it's gone but when this person comes back around Taurus the ball is really going to be in your court if you allow them back or not right so Taurus let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward in this connection if you found this message has been helpful resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth of the channel getting the message out there so thank you guys so much for that you are all freaking amazing also taurus if you want to get in on the extended version the links are all below in the extended version we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies let's see if what comes out there we'll see what this person truly wants from this connection what will the next steps be moving forward the outcome if the advice is followed it's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below taurus the temperance the three of swords and the reverse the ace of pentacles with the sun on the bottom of the deck there's a need for balance there's a need for healing okay there's a need for releasing something and i feel like this is more of an energy than a person that is no longer serving maybe a belief system okay a way of being reacting okay in a relationship and a connection there is a new phase that's going to come back around this is probably going to happen by the end of the summer that there's going to be a new type of vibe a new type of energy between you and this person it's going to come from this healing but you guys are going to have to take time to heal first and it may come down to where you guys take some time apart in order to focus on that all I can say, and I know it's cliche, Taurus is trust the process. So let's get a soul journey message. Sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. We are all spirit. We are all the same. It's only the roles we have chosen to play here on earth that make us seem different. The biggest lesson you have chosen to learn is to love. There are so many situations in this physical dimension that it is possible to incarnate into, but the core lesson is to look past these illusions and to see yourself in everyone. Each soul has chosen its own struggles, and your task is not to judge how someone goes about overcoming these obstacles, but to assist that soul 
Spirit's given you the tools of compassion and empathy to help you through the eye the eyes of those who appear different. Your ego has taught you that making other people feel insignificant or inferior will allow you to feel better. That is an illusion. By diminishing others, you diminish yourself. Always learn to follow the golden rule. I will treat others as I would like to be treated. Everyone in your life is here to teach you something about yourself. Accept the lesson with love and understanding. So, Taurus, there is a disconnect between you and this person. I call you to look a little bit deeper. Try to seek out the lesson. What is it that you're needing to learn here in this moment? Okay, in this disconnect. Okay. Is there is some memory that this is triggering that maybe needs healing within you. Take some time and look a little bit deeper within. It'll help you to come to the conclusion and maybe even ease that anxiety a little bit. There is a transformation going on between you and this person and it may cause at first to disconnect and come back, back together as well. You're going to need to trust the process. So Taurus, the Four Truths message coming out for your reading is always do your best. Don't overdo it. Always do your best, but don't overdo when you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself. And it will take you longer to accomplish your goal. Don't overdo. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Taurus, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so, so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.